number four on my NFL playoff quarterback rankings, none other than Justin Herbert. The ringer had Herbert at number two. They were wrong. Herbert is the fourth best quarterback on the list. We know his talent. Herbert has great arm strength, great pocket awareness, and he's one of the best throwers of the football in the NFL. You can win a Super Bowl with Justin Herbert. This is his first playoff appearance, though, so we don't know how he's going to perform this weekend against the Jaguars. But he comes in at number four for me because of his ability. Of course, Tom Brady has won more playoff games and played better in big games than Herbert has, but Herbert's ability and his talent warrants him to be top five. This is where it gets tricky for me. And I, I, I went back and forth with my second and third pick. I'm going to roll with Joe Burrow as my third NFL playoff quarterback. We know last year Joe Burrow went on a great run for the Cincinnati Bengals. He led the Bengals to the Super Bowl, and they won their first playoff game in over 30 years. Joe Burrow had a great season last year, fresh off of ACL surgery. And last year, the Bengals had the worst offensive line in the NFL. Joe Burrow got sacked seven times in a playoff game against the Titans last year. And he still led the Cincinnati Bengals to the Super Bowl. Last year, he led the NFL in completion percentage. And this year, Joey B did good again for the Cincinnati Bengals overall as a football team. And he's the reason why the Bengals are now legit contenders, not only in the AFC North, but in the AFC overall. 35 touchdowns, 12 interceptions this year. He was sensational. Joe Burrow is my third best NFL playoff quarterback. Coming in number two, Josh Allen. Josh Allen, last year against the Kansas City Chiefs, Josh Allen went throw for throw, pass for pass with Patrick Mahomes. He had over 300 passing yards in that game, four touchdown passes, and they didn't lose that game because of Josh Allen. They lost that game because that Bills defense could not stop Patrick Mahomes and the Chiefs from getting into field goal range with only 13 seconds left. That's the reason why they lost that game. But Josh Allen, we know his ability. He can move around in the pocket. He's athletic, has a great, great arm, arguably has the best arm in the NFL as a quarterback. Josh Allen is the real deal. He's the real deal. Sometimes he turns the football over. In the red zone, he has bad turnovers. But we know how gifted Josh Allen is. But before I get to my number one and my best NFL playoff quarterback, Josh Allen and Joe Burrow both were a toss-up for me. Like, I believe that Joe Burrow and Josh Allen are both 2A and 2B. I, I had to pick one over the other, so I rolled with Josh Allen. But if someone tells me that they believe that Joe Burrow is better than Josh Allen is, and a lot of Bengal fans will tell you that, I ain't mad at you. I ain't mad at you because I understand the greatness of a Joe Burrow. Joe Burrow won a championship and a Heisman Trophy at the University of LSU. So I know how great Joe Burrow is, but I, like him and Josh Allen are on the same level to me. And I think the, depending on how this playoff run ends for each of them, that's going to determine whether or not I believe that Joe Burrow or Josh Allen is better than the other. Now, my number one playoff quarterback this year is Patrick Mahomes. Patrick Mahomes has played in a lot of playoff games in his career. He's 8-3 and three in the playoffs. He got 28 touchdowns, 7 interceptions, 3,381 passing yards. He's completed 66% of his passes. The Chiefs have been to the last four AFC Championship games, and it's because of Patrick Mahomes. He comes in as number one on my NFL playoff quarterback rankings.